In today's video we are going to go over six things that you can implement into your motion graphics to make them psychedelic. Make sure to subscribe if you want to learn more about After Effects. I post tutorials here on this channel. Let's get right into it. Okay, so go ahead and create a new composition. And you can just name it. I'm going with 1920 by 1080. Press OK. And the first thing I am going to do is go up here, grab my text tool and type in psychedelic and just press control home to center that. So one of the main characteristics of psychedelic art is groovy typography and handwritten styles. Um, you can see this across all of these reference images, almost all of them. You can obviously go outside the box, but if you want to give that psychedelic look, then this is going to help. I went and found this font right here. I will link all my resources down below, by the way. So, change this to white right here. And I also want my stroke color to be 0 0.1. Go to layer, new, null object, and we are going to rename this to controller. Go to effects and presets and search for slider and grab the slider control and drop it onto our controller layer and go ahead and rename this delay. Then go to our text layer, press R to pull the rotation up and keyframe your animation. This doesn't have to be complicated, I am just doing a basic back and forth rocking motion. But I'm going to do an expression in a minute that's going to create a cool effect to go alongside it. Highlight these, press F9 to easy ease and go to our graph editor. Here you can just adjust the graph to make that animation a little bit smoother as well. I am just going to whiz through this, it took me about a minute but you get the general idea. When you are happy, just highlight the rest of these keyframes and we are going to just duplicate them and complete our animation. After I pasted that in, I am just going back in here to adjust the middle keyframe. And then I just really want to make sure that my animation is going to loop. And I can see that it does, so I am happy with this. Go ahead, click on your text and press Ctrl D to duplicate and drag that one underneath, pull up the rotation for this layer and on this layer we are going to delete all of the keyframes. So hold down Alt on the stopwatch and you can paste this expression which I am going to put in the description down below. And you can see here that I have an expression error and this is because it is not linked to the correct layers yet. You can see it says your comp controller name so I'm just going to come here, control C, drop this one in here, and grab this layer's name, and drop it here. And now You can see that we're starting to get a little bit of a delay going on. Okay, so go ahead, press on your layer and duplicate until you are happy with the amount of delays that you want. I am quite happy with this number. Alright, I'm just going to drag these down below and then I am going to start colouring my text. Now, the goal here is to create some really cool psychedelic artwork and to do this we have to use some really bright, vivid colours. This really is the main characteristic of psychedelic art. I mean, there are a few different factors, but bright, vivid is what we are going for here. I will list the colors that I have done in my resource down below. And I am just going to speed through this because this is fairly self-explanatory, I think. I hope. Once you are happy with your colors, go and go to the controller and we are going to change the delay. I am gonna go with 0 0.2. 
press space and we will have a really cool delay going on. And while this is really cool, with just a few more effects, we can make this so much better. So layer, new solid, and we are going to go with a dark gray for this one. 141414. Press OK. And that is just going to be a background for me for now. Then I'm going to create a new solid and this one I want it to be white. And go to the effects and presets and type in star burst CC. Drag this effect on. Bring the scatter all the way up to about 420. Bring the speed all the way down to 0.01. Phase is fine. Grid spacing is changed to 1. Size 125 and blend with original at 0. So now when I press space you can see we have some really light movement with these stars going on. Oh my goodness, I just love stars so much, so I apologize for all the future and everything in the past. Basically, I litter stars into everything. Um, if that's not really your jam, maybe you can try out the CC Collider effect. You could get some amazing psychedelic stuff going on with that as well. But, you know, this is just... I love it. I love it. I love it. So, alright, go ahead, select everything here right click and pre-compose move all attributes to the new app composition press ok and now on this layer i am going to put a glow effect and i am going to make the threshold 54.9 the radius 36 the glow intensity 0 0.5 and everything else should be fine. So this is what we have now. I'm really loving this. I would like to put some blur on this and I would also like to put a little bit of a wave. So if we go to wave warp drop it on our text even that is so cool um, but we are going to change this to I think everything looks cool we are going to change this to circle the height to 20 the width to 715 we want the wave speed to be 0 0.5 and just make sure that you're pinning all of the edges and last but not least 142 on the face and now my computer is going to start to crumble okay so i'm going to put a little bit of blur on here so i'm going to go into our text layer do layer new adjustment layer i'm going to put this under the top psychedelic because i don't want it to affect I'm going to do a couple of these, but I don't want this one to affect the top one so much. I'm going to change this to 30, even 20. Just a little, little bit. Yep, and duplicate this and put this one above the top one and for this I just want it to be 10. So the problem that I can see here is that I've actually the delay is further between the psychedelic on top and the bottom one and that is because yeah you can see right here if I delete this our delay isn't as far behind and this is to do with the expression so I'm not going to put that there only because I'm not in the mood to go changing some expressions so I am just going to keep this adjustment the fast blur at 10 but what I will do 
as well, which I was going to do before anyway, is put my motion blur on. So there you go with some handwritten text, some really bright colors and a few simple effects. You can have a psychedelic look to your artwork as well. I hope you have had success in whatever project you have been working on today. If you want to learn more After Effects, make sure to subscribe because I post tutorials regularly. Make sure to go ahead and check out the links right here because these are the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye!